Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at HTML DOM events in JavaScript. Now with HTML DOM, a DOM sorry, it allows JavaScript to react to HTML events. For example, uh, clicking on something or going or hovering over something or putting your mouse uh, out of a certain place and so on. And uh, in my previous videos we I used actually uh, the on click on buttons to show you some other JavaScript stuff I uh, looked at in each videos and that on click for the button is actually an HTML DOM event if a user clicks on that button it the JavaScript uh, code executes so we are going to be briefly looking at on click now in my previous videos we uh, I used a button as an obvious example because buttons are there to be clicked for on click however we could actually use other stuff uh, just like normal p tags or header tags uh, for on click now let's just create a simple h1 tag and give it an id of i don't know text or something and inside that let's just say hello so we have a big bold hello text on our browser now let's say on click equals and inside that we are going to write our function that we are going to create in between our script let's say uh, change text so we're going to call our function change text now inside our script tag let's create that function function change text and in oops no arguments or parameters and inside here uh, let's say document dot get element by id D and inside our brackets we are going to write our ID name which is text in this case dot in a HTML so we are going to change the text to goodbye and let's save our work and refresh now when I click on this it's going to change the text to goodbye because that on click event uh, was in instantiated initiated I don't know it when you click on it it load or executed that function change text uh, okay so enough of on click because that's pretty obvious and I used quite a lot of on click for my previous videos when looking up buttons now we can act there's another one called uh, which one was I going to do uh, on mouse over now if you've done my uh, HTML CSS or looked at my HTML CSS videos uh, I've talked about uh, the a tags so the link tags with a hover it's basically like that when your mouse goes over that it's going to uh, call an event so let's use this uh, you know in uh, web pages cool web pages you have like a list of uh, say like I don't know home and then about and then uh, about and works and contacts and stuff where it has like a list of this and if you click on it, it takes you to I don't know like something.com slash about to each pages and when you hover over it the text changes from black or white or the background color changes and so on now that you use the on mouse over which is one way of doing it using JavaScript now I'll be showing you how to do that quickly in this video now I have on my desktop two uh, JPEG images I have this small about and I have another about which has a, a thicker thicker which has a different color it's got a black color compared to this about uh, image now I am going to use this about image about.jpg as my default J uh, image and then when I my, uh, when I put my mouse over it I'm going to change it to this other about so that just like uh, in those cool looking website when I'm hovering over these it's going to tell me where I'm hovering over and the web page just looks cool so let's create an image with a source equals about.jpg and you can just use any photos you can use I don't know like a picture of a sushi and a salmon and then if you hover over it it just changes and so on <coughs> now 
within my script, we are going to be creating two functions. One is when we are putting our mouse over, and one is when we are putting a mouse out of it, so that it goes back to the first, what do you call it? It goes back to the first uh, about.jpg. So let's create a function called function uh, mouse over. Uh, no attributes. And inside, let's say, uh, or let's give it an ID first. Let's say image. Oops, image. And document dot get element by ID. And inside, where's my, there we go inside my brackets, inside the double quotes, we are going to write image, not images, dot source equals, and we are going to change this to about to dot JPEG, which is the name of my about to, or my other about image. And we are going to create another one called mouse out. So because it's mostly the same, let's just copy and paste here, okay? and uh, let's say mouse out oops and function mouse out document dot element id that's all the same source equals and let's change that back to about dot jpeg now over here we are going to write two uh, html dom event attributes one is on mouse over and the other one is on mouse out so when this on mouse over is called it's going to load the function mouse over and then when on mouse out is called, it's going to execute the mouse out function. There we go. Now let's save our work and refresh. So we have, it's a bit small cause the image is small. So we have this about uh, thing, thing about image. And when I hover over it, it's going to change it to uh, the thicker text or the thicker image. So it, if you have like home about may works and contacts and stuff, you've got this feeling that you're hover, you're actually really hovering over it. And it's just a better user experience in my opinion. So on mouse over on, on mouse out are really uh, two really useful uh, JavaScript DOM event that you can easily use to make your website look better. See, it looks better already. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.